We're gonna talk about Shopify. I know everyone probably have heard of Shopify by now. BitCommerce, WooCommerce, and Volusion. Those are the four platforms I'm going to discuss today. And if you don't have a platform, my opinion, everyone should be selling something. There's no reason why you shouldn't. And this is my personal opinion. You should have some type of product out there. You have too many drop shipping programs, which I'm going to mention some on this live as well. You have too many drop shipping programs for you not to be making money 24 seven, okay? While you're sleeping, seriously. So um, let's start with uh, Shopify. I wanna go over the price points for them, tell you my personal experience, and then I would like to hear from you as far as what platform are you currently on? Are you having any issues with those platforms? Do you have questions about the platform, etc.? Betty says, can you spell the last platform? Oh, Volusion. Sometimes my country accent kind of get in the way there. So Volusion is V as in Victor, O-L-U-S-I-O-N. Volusion, V-O-L-U-S-I-O-N. Hey, Ken Brooks, thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you. All righty. So let's go over price points first, because a lot of people feel like the pricing is super important, which it is. So I want you to do a comparison. When it comes to Shopify, you're looking at $29 per month. And you're welcome, Betty. You're looking at $29 per month. Now their credit card rate is 2.9% plus 30%. Now you think about it, that's very similar to like PayPal, Square, etc. So that's pretty much on the right track, what we're used to. Then their staff accounts, if you have like, if you have more than one person, if you're not the only person on your team and you want to have other people with access, good morning, Ken. If you want to have, um, Tashanta, thank you for joining. And if you want to give other people on your team access with Shopify for that $29, you can add two people. So if you have more than two folks, then you're going to have to pay more money to add your third, fourth, fifth, etc. Okay. As far as their products, we know that it's unlimited. They don't put a cap on it at all which is pretty awesome you have unlimited file storage and this is at the 29 dollars basic plan you also have unlimited bandwidth 24 7 live chat plus phone you have your online store website and you get a blog that is important so i'm gonna stop and pause right here you whenever you're looking for an e-commerce platform my suggestion is you need to find one who actually gives you a blog this helps you when it comes to search engine optimization because at the end of the day, a lot of people may not even know the name of your business. I never know the name of a business. I usually Google things. And whatever I'm Googling, whatever companies pop up, those are the companies' websites that I usually go to check out. Hey, Jocelyn, thank you for joining. So whatever you have, uh, whatever e-commerce platform you choose, I would, say my, I would suggest to make sure it has a blogging um, feature on it so you're able to blog and you're able to feed into those search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo because the more you feed into them, you can populate and continue to move up and up in the search um, in the search results. Okay, so they do have a blog with Shopify and they do have a point of sale. So that's Shopify. Now my personal experience is we have a lot of clients who utilize Shopify. I personally use Shopify as well. And the cool thing is I love that Shopify, they have so many great apps that you don't have to worry about paying a developer to develop for you. Sharonda, thank you for joining. Jocelyn, thank you for joining. You don't have to worry about paying anyone to develop these apps because they're already there. Marketing apps are there. You have, um, what else? Goodness gracious, there's a lot of them. Oh, and you can also integrate your Instagram with Shopify. So you'll see that little bag or that little, what is it called? The little shopping bag that's on some of the Instagram posts that you guys notice. When you click on it, you see the price will pop up. You're actually able to make that purchase from Instagram. So you're able to sell. That's one of the platforms that Shopify allows you to sell on. Um, it's Instagram and also Facebook, along with um, some other platforms as well. They have great tools as, you know, whenever someone goes to your site, you will see little pop-ups. You will see, oh, Lakeisha in, you know, Los Angeles just purchased the ABC shirt, $37. So what that does mentally, if you see other people purchasing from this site, you already, you're gaining that trust. Hey, Sharonda, you're gaining trust because you're like, oh, other people um, are ordering here too. Oh, this person is ordering. You can see those orders like literally in real time. So that's one of the cool apps. I cannot think of the name of the app right now off the top of my head, but I promise I'll put it in the comment section as soon as I um, find out. 
The other great thing, Shopify actually has Oberlo. That's O-B-E-R-L-O. O-B-E-R-L-O. Somebody put that in the comment section for me, please. Oberlo is a drop shipping company. So you have like AliExpress, you have US warehouses, and I mean, everybody, a whole bunch of people is a part of Oberlo platform. That is an app that you can install on your Shopify platform. And basically, you don't have to have any inventory. No inventory whatsoever. You're just selling. Uh, hey, Kelly. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Kelly. They also, um, they also integrate with Printful. And Printful is one of those drop shipping platforms also. And they sell like leggings. You can put like your designs on t-shirts, on hats. Link it with your Shopify store. Bam. Now you have, that's another drop shipping, um, you know, program or whatever. So if some of you... Thank you, Sharonda Oberlo. Thank you. And then put Printful, if you don't mind, P-R-I-N-T-F-U-L. So this way, guys, if you don't have anything to sell or not sure what to sell, these are two great websites that can get you started without you having any type of inventory. So just to put that out there, that's a little nugget right there. So um, personally, I guess you guys can see I love Shopify. <laughs> I adore Shopify. And the Jenner um, sister, it was Kylie. Yeah, Kylie Jenner. She literally broke the internet when her makeup first came out initially, and she's on Shopify. She's actually on Shopify. So the second time that she launched her second makeup um, launch, they gave her even more bandwidth because they do have that for larger companies as well, who's kind of on a different level. And again, she's on Shopify. It's not expensive. 29 bucks per month to have an online store, and they take care of pretty much everything for you. I mean, it's a no-brainer. So let's see what Betty Lewis says. Can you integrate it to your own website or will it take you to their website? Would you recommend these blog on your personal website and the Shopify site? Okay, so this is the thing. This is my suggestion. Again, my opinion, how we work. My suggestion for you guys would be to first, she said to your own website or take it to your, yeah. So you should do, let's say for example, I have LakeishaSpeaksTech.com, right? So if I want to have my store on Shopify, I'm going to create my subdomain shop.lakeishaspeakstech.com or lakeishaspeakstech.com slash shop. That subdomain will point to my Shopify store. That's how I would set it up. Thank you, Sharonda, for putting Printful. And then your other question was about the blog. If you have a website now, I would suggest you put your blog on your website if you have a website and then use Shopify as your e-commerce tool now if you're only using shopify as your website because you can do that too as your website and your e-commerce tool then you can leave your um, blog on shopify okay so does that answer your question betty all right asia darby thank you for joining thank you for joining um so again i personally i love the shopify platform because you don't have to worry about the hosting, which meaning like the bandwidth, because if you don't have enough bandwidth, and I'll go over another platform that I like, but bandwidth may be an issue, because if you don't have enough and you can only hold 100 products, then, and I'm sorry, 100 people on your site at one time, when that 101 person come on, guess what, you're going to crash. With Shopify, you don't have to worry about that, because all of that is already included. Keisha Davis, yes. 3D cart is also great for e-commerce and awesome for SEO. Yes, it is. I'm not even there yet, but yes, 3D cart basic, that's like 29 bucks per month as well. Shopify and 3D cart, honestly, they're kind of right there. But I just love Shopify because they have a little bit more features, um, in my opinion, than 3D cart. But 3D cart is definitely a great platform as well. Yes, I think it does. Okay, Betty. And if it doesn't, make sure, you know, ask, make sure I'm clear and um, that I'm answering uh, your question. If I'm not, let me know. Hello. Hey, Aisha. How are you doing? How are you doing? So again, um, the thing about Shopify also has SEO, search engine optimization, like Keisha was talking about with 3D Cart. They have a, Shopify have a lot of great, great, great features when it comes to SEO that's already built in. Okay. So that's my experience with Shopify. Now let's move on to BitCommerce. BitCommerce is, again, money-wise, $29.95 per month. Same credit card rates, 2.9% plus the $0.30. Cents. Um, the staff accounts is unlimited, actually, with that plan. Unlimited products, unlimited file storage, unlimited bandwidth as well. You have the 24-7 live chat, the online store, the blog. They do have a blog module, and they also have a point-of-sale 
as well. So they have a lot of things that Shopify have, but my personal experience with BitCommerce, some of their um, free templates, it was a little, if you not if you don't know coding, some of their free templates, like it has like some spacing issues. And with Shopify, just to mention about templates real quick, they have some great free templates. They do have some, they're cool. I shouldn't say great. They have some cool free templates, but they have even better templates that you can pay. And I think it's like a hundred and something bucks. So I'm um, back to BitCommerce. So BitCommerce, their free templates, there was, it's like a little issue with some of the spacing that I noticed um, when it comes to uh, editing. I did not care for that as much. It was a cool platform. Um, it's pretty straightforward. For, for someone who's really just getting started, starting out, you know, BitCommerce is definitely um, a great platform that you can hop on, definitely. But for me, I personally, I like it but it did not beat out Shopify for myself. I will say, I'll just say it that way. It didn't have as many huge, huge features, I feel, uh, that integrated with them. But some of the things they did have here that I actually have pulled up, let's go here real quick. Mm -hmm. I mean, it pretty much does everything, you know, e-commerce supposed to do, but as far as the apps and the different features, they do have SEO, but it's not as great to me as Shopify and 3D Cart, which is pretty awesome with SEO. So I I would say if you get it, it's a good starter, but then you may want to uh, move over to something else like a Shopify. All right, so let's talk about Volusion. A lot of people may not be familiar with Volusion. Let me make sure I'm not missing anyone's comments real quick before I move on. Hey, thanks for joining uh, Marisa. Marisa? Gabrielle, I hope I said your name correctly. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, Volusion. So Volusion is one of those platforms a lot of people may not know about. But me, I, I've been using them, or I used them back in 2010 because I actually had a company called Designer's Basement where I sold designer handbags. And I also used them for another company that I had called Babbles Baby Boutique. Yeah, I've tried a lot of different things. So um, what I loved about them, they were a new company, but a lot of the bells and whistles was already there. They have great, great, great looking free templates. Some of the best, in my opinion, out of the platforms that I'm going to speak on today. Their free templates are, um, it's just fab, it's great. <laughs> Very responsive. Um, that I like the way the look and feel is. You also can purchase their paid templates as well. That is an option. Um, with Volusion price points, is $35. Hey, Daphne, thank you for joining Daphne Gam Gamble. It's $35 per month, and their credit card rate is actually one of the lowest that I, from my experience, had 2.15%. So usually it's about 2.9% plus 30 cents. With Volusion, you actually have it for 2.15%. The staff account is not specified um, at this moment, as far as products at that $35 price point, you can sell up to 1,000 of them. They have unlimited file storage, but when it comes to the bandwidth, it's three gigabytes. Hey, Chantel, thanks for joining. When it comes to the bandwidth, they have about three gigabytes at the $35 price point. The same thing, 24 seven, live chat and phone, online store and point of sale, but they don't have a blog, which is a downfall for me. So again, my suggestion, especially when it comes to SEO and you want to be found, you want to go at a platform that actually has some type of blog feature with it. So we know Shopify, they have a blog feature. We know BigCommerce has a blog feature as well. But Volusion, they don't. But I, I, I again, for me, there it's more so their templates that are pretty cool. But so far for me, Shopify is still winning. And since Keisha brought up 3D Cart, I actually have information here for them as well, for those of you who are interested in looking into it. And then I'll go into WooCommerce, and then I want you guys to start asking me questions about your platforms or platforms that you're thinking about joining. So for 3D Cart Basic, it's $29, very similar to Shopify. Um, they don't have really, I don't know what the credit card rates are. What are those credit card rates, Keisha, if you don't mind, if you're still on? Hey, Kamari Ellis, thank you for joining. Drop that um, information down in the comment section, Keisha, if you get a moment, because it's unspecified from my understanding as of now. You do get two staff accounts. You get unlimited products, unlimited file storage, and unlimited bandwidth. There's 24-7 live chat and phone, and yes, they have an online store website. Yes, they have a blog, 
feature and yes they have their point of sales so again 3d cart is not um definitely not a terrible option you can't go wrong with that either but my heart still belongs to shopify so what comes for me comes in second is woocommerce woocommerce is actually a plugin for those of you who use wordpress and more anytime i'm talking about wordpress i'm talking about wordpress.org not .com because in order to have .org, you must have a hosting company like GoDaddy, Network Solutions, Bluehost, or you know any of those type of one-on-one, -on -one, et cetera, HostGator. You must have an actual hosting account in order to utilize WordPress.org. So I'm always talking about .org because you have more, you have you actually own it and you have control of your content. So WooCommerce is a plugin. And I love WooCommerce. However, what I will say, they have all the bells and whistles. When it comes to payment, you don't pay a monthly fee because it's a plugin that's part of WordPress. When it comes to your credit card rates, whomever you're utilizing as a payment gateway, if you're using PayPal, PayPal is 2.9% plus 30 cents. So that's how much you would pay um, for that um, gateway. You're not paying that to actually WooCommerce. When it comes to staff accounts, you can add as many people to your WordPress um, website in the back end. When it comes to products, you can add as many products that your hosting account allows. As far as bandwidth, file, and storage, now that's where, hey, Alice, thank you for joining, cuz. So whenever you're talking about the bandwidth and the storage and all of that, now this is where there's two things about WooCommerce that I think people, not that I think I know, people get a little confused on or, or they just probably don't care for. One is you have to be, you're responsible for your hosting, okay? Thank you for the, the thumbs up. You're responsible for your hosting. So that means you need to know if you're expecting all these people on your site making these purchases, you got to make sure whomever you're hosting with that your hosting package is on point. And I'm going to give you an example of what happened to a client. Um, what happened to a client of ours. So I did not know um, that they actually booked this interview, right? I'm going to read your, okay. I did not know that they actually booked this um, interview. So they, I mean, a huge interview with a bot, with Bossip. That was the website, the Bossip website. They had over 40,000 people on their site. And you know what happened to that site? Because that site was not prepared to host 40,000 people and they were using WooCommerce because their site was built on top of the Word plat WordPress platform, it crashed. It crashed. So anytime you're responsible for your own hosting with all of the different e-commerce, you got to make sure that it can handle the amount of people that are going to be on your site. So and that's one thing about WooCommerce. The second um, issue or challenge for some folks is the fact that if you have a shirt and that shirt or pant or whatever comes in different colors, red, blue, and green, um, and if you have different sizes, and if those different sizes are different um, prices, you will have to create your own variants. Whereas so, some things like um, like Shopify and other platforms, that is already pretty much, most, but for the most part, is created for you. WooCommerce is a little bit more involved. Not a lot, but it is, it is a little learning curve there. And they don't offer the 24 seven support. So you have to actually read the documentation. I love WooCommerce because I know how to use it. We use WordPress a lot. We build platforms, uh, websites on top of that platform a lot as well. So I'm very familiar with it. Uh, for some people it's a challenge, but for some people it's straightforward. If you're not dealing with the variants and all of that, then it's pretty straightforward. So that is my opinion overall on those platforms and i'd add that extra one in there three cart and i want to go back up to keisha she says i'm not sure about the credit card rate with 3d cart i'm in the process of switching from shopify to 3d cart now i don't use credit cards i just have the paypal payment only so i haven't even checked yet okay and keisha let us know why are you switching? I would love to know. So she's switching from Shopify, which is my favorite platform. She's switching from Shopify to 3D Cart. So let's find out why she's doing that. I do have a 1130 meeting too, but I want to answer as many questions as possible. Betty says, oh, I'm at work and I got a call. Oh, I miss so much. I'll have to watch the replay. It is. That's okay. Yeah, that's the cool thing about video. You can always watch the replay, fast forward, and all that great stuff. And Jordan, thank you for watching. Kevin McFadden, Shamika Cotfield, thanks guys for watching. I meant credit card. Oh, I knew I knew what you meant, Lakeisha. Well, Keisha, I'm calling you Lakeisha. 
uh, my name, but I knew what you meant. So anybody, guys, if you have any questions, and also, Keisha, let me know why you're switching over, transferring over to 3D Cart. We'll love to hear uh, more information on that. And if any of you guys have any questions about your e-commerce um, cart, I do have about 10 more minutes before my 11.30 meeting. So if you have questions, ask away. And while I'm waiting on Keisha to let me know her reason for switching over. So feel free to ask me any questions. And if it's not about e-commerce and it's about something else pertaining to technology, digital marketing, you can ask that question as well. All right. And for those of you who kind of just hopped on at the last minute, I will be talking about Amazon on Friday. So how to sell on Amazon. And that was something that Crystal, I was trying to find which who asked me to speak on that topic. Well, I'll know it by Friday. Because third tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I'll be hanging out with my family. But on Friday, we will be discussing Amazon. And on Monday, someone wanted me to talk about network marketing, which I am. So that's going to be the topic for Monday. So if you guys are into network marketing or know someone, I will be doing a discussion on that. I don't demonstrate, um, not demonstrate, I don't uh, discriminate, you know, on people's businesses. I think we all can make money in our own special way. Monica McAllister, thank you for joining. Astari Dennis, thank you for joining as well. Astari, you actually posted a question in the group pertaining to WordPress on yesterday about your images to the side. So make sure um, after this live, check out, um, this is Digitech Squad. That's a group I have here on Facebook. But look and see what I um, responded or how I responded to that. And hopefully that will help you. Or hopefully it has helped you already. Okay? So if anybody have any more questions, I don't know if Facebook is not showing me everything here. Let me log in. I thought I was log in, actually. Dollars, foot, Q, V. I think that's my password. I have so many passwords in my head. Hopefully that was right. Hey, Monica. Oh, and it was. Okay, here's Keisha. I was waiting on this. And before I read this, just to let you guys know, I actually have a um, platform called the Digital Marketing Hub. It's $99 per month. Get access to over 800 courses pertaining to email marketing. Also, how to um, create like sales funnels, courses on pretty much anything you can think of when it comes to digital marketing, but how to build your community, as well as me providing you guys with monthly coaching live webinars. And you get access to the app, um, the group. So it's a private group, but it's not on Facebook. It's an actual app that you would download. So you can ask questions pertaining to your business. If you run into like a little an issue or just have a question about strategy, strategizing when it comes to social media or whatever the case may be. So make sure if you're interested in the digital marketing hub, inbox me. It's only 99 bucks. And our cinematographer, who's a celebrity cinematographer, Zarian Hadley, he is offering my folks that's a part of the Digital Marketing Hub. He's offering you guys a free video, promo video for your business. So he's the real deal. All right. So I want to put that out there. Keisha says, I'm switching from Shopify to 3D Cart because 3D Cart offers a lot of features in all plans. And with Shopify, you have paid for all the same features with buying apps and that adds up. Also, 3D Cart SEO features are so advanced and Shopify isn't. So Keisha, what is so advanced about 3D Cart versus Shopify when it comes to SEO? Because I got a little nugget for you about that too. Because you'll be surprised. For example, we have a client, literally, he's on Shopify. In two months, we had him making $10,000 because of search engine optimization on Shopify. Now, I have not personally used 3D Cart. I, I know of it, but I haven't, I don't have personal experience with it. I know other people who have. So I've known people who switched from 3D Cart to Shopify as well. So I think it depends on what your situation is and what best works, you know, for your particular situation. The only downside that I see with 3D Cart is their free themes aren't as flexible as Shopify. Okay, there's always a downside. You know, everything isn't going to be perfect. Hey, Antoinette, how are you doing? I got your text. I text you back too, I think. I hope. Um, Clarissa Moore, thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you. And so, um, Keisha, going back to, she said, da, 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 all the same features. Yeah. So again, let me know what the advanced SEO features that you're talking about too, because a lot of things have changed with SEO. 
So sometimes the advanced features that these platforms have may not be compatible with whatever Google, which is Penguin and Panda, Panda, with whatever they have launched or their webmaster tools. So that's also something important to keep in mind. And a lot of folks, you wouldn't know that because you don't own an agency. So it's kind of like you, you just don't know what you don't know. So that's why I'm just interested in asking, you know, for asking that question. You can inbox me as well or comment down there below too. Because I do have to hop off in, I think I got about five, five more minutes. Okay. Any more questions? Monica is, okay, I'm currently using WooCommerce via WordPress. Great. I love WooCommerce as well. WooCommerce definitely great with SEO because you have WordPress and WordPress, they have a lot of great plugins when it comes to search engine optimization. They have Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T, Yoast. And then they also have um, the other one that I cannot think of off the top of my head, SEO something. But um, we actually use Yoast for the most part for uh, oh, all-in-one SEO, all-in-one SEO. Those are two great plugins for um, WordPress. So Valerie Jackson, thank you for joining. If we don't have any more questions, I'm gonna have to hop off because I do have a meeting I have to prepare for. But if we have one more, I'm able to answer one more question. If not, I'm gonna see you guys on Friday and happy Thanksgiving. If you're interested in the Digital Marketing Hub, make sure you inbox me. I can send you the link over, let you know everything that is included and we can pretty much go from there. Um, so any more questions? I'm going to check Facebook here because I know how they can be sometimes. Cool. Flexible. Hey, hon. Okay, great. And what is this? So Keisha said with Shopify, you aren't allowed to go in the back end to customize your SEO as much as you are with 3D Cart. So that is true and not true you actually can go into the back end um we do it for several clients i don't know if it's because we have an agency um account with shopify but you're definitely able to do that so it sounds like with 3d cart whether you're an agency or not you do have that capability which is cool with shopify you do have that capability as well but again i can't say 100 percent if it's because we're an agency and they allow us to do that we are partners with them too or or not so Monica says, subscribe to Coast, but haven't tried it yet. Okay, so let's, you know, keep us updated with how all that works out. I have not used Coast before, so I'm interested in knowing more information about that. And Monica says, do you have to have long product descriptions to good SEO? Okay, now this is a whole nother topic. So this is kind of a whole nother topic, but I'll give you a snapshot answer. So in order for your product or any of your pages to really um, score when it comes to SEO, you do have to have a, yes, Yoast, there you go. Okay, you were, okay, I got you, Monica, Yoast, not Coast, got you. So you do have to have a, um, you know, keywords or keyword that you are focusing on for any of your products. So it's great to have that product whenever you're explaining your product. If you have like a black t-shirt, I don't know. Let's just say Black Friday Black T-shirt. I don't know. Just the name of a product. So you have Black Friday Black T-shirt. While you're giving that description inside of your description section, make sure you're using whatever keyword you want to focus on. If you want to focus on Black Friday, then use it throughout that description. A lot of times we feel that if you're giving dimensions and um, the size of a product and those type of things, that's enough. But no, you need to be more visual with your product, not only for SEO purposes, but also for people who are buying from you, for them to visualize themselves in that particular environment or in that particular you know, situation that you're explaining, whether it's a cocktail party that they're going to wear this outfit or whatever to, whether it's a game, a ball game that they're wearing it to, put them in that situation by your pictures. And, make, and when you're using your pictures, make sure you do an alt tag because that's part of search engine optimization. And then whatever keyword you're going after, you'll put that in your alt tag of the picture. You put that as the name of the product and you also put it in the description section of your product. That's the answer in short without going too deep because that's, that's a totally different live to be honest. Okay? So guys, I do have to hop off now. It's 11.23 and I have seven minutes to hop on this conference call. Um, as always, I love talking to you guys. If there's anything you would like to me, a topic you want me to discuss, comment below.
inbox me or send a topic to info at LakeishaSpeaksTech.com. Hey, Jermaine, make sure you watch the replay, all right? So guys, as always, happy, happy online marketing and happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you all on Friday and we'll be discussing selling on Amazon. You're welcome, Monica. Oh, I'm smiling and it's not even the same face.